Hello, um, I'm making here a quick video to uh, show you an introduction or first look at my latest 3D pen uh, purchase, the RP900A. It is the world's smallest 3D printing pen uh, from a company, JER in China. This is their fifth generation 3D printing pen. The pen I was using, uh, or I've been using really um, up until I just got, got this, is the RP800A. This is their fourth generation one. I really like this model. It's, uh, I've gotten a lot of use out of it, and uh, it's, it's an excellent pen. And then I have here before that the previous world's smallest 3D printing pen, the Lix pen. A very nice pen, a uh, very nice fit and finish, but I actually prefer these other pens. Uh, to that. So this one I haven't tried out too much. I, I just got it and I'm just now getting my initial impressions. Um, so uh, you, you did hear me right. This is the world's smallest 3D printing pen. It is smaller than the Lix pen. If you compare them side by side, you can see um, that the uh, RP900A, this one here, is a touch uh, thinner and shorter. Actually, if you remove the cap, it's uh, significantly shorter as well. Um, I think just over, let's see, mm, yeah, about six and a half inches compared to the Lix pen, which is just shy of seven, and the RP800A, which is just at seven inches. So, uh, actually, let me plug it in here so I can show you some of the things, uh, features of this pen. Let me press this button. It has a very beautiful OLED screen right there. Okay, there it is. Um, what I like about it is it displays the current temperature, the target temperature, the material that the temperature is set for, and the speed. So you can actually change the, the temperature in one degree increments, which is very nice. It goes from, uh, I believe, from 130 centigrade up to 230. For ABS, 210 is the ideal temperature for this pen. It's, so it's lower than what you would use for uh, a regular 3D printing machine. For the pen, it doesn't need as much heat. So 210 works very well. And you can also easily switch to, say, if you're going to PLA 175. I prefer ABS myself. Um, so you can see it actually heats up very quickly. Um, it's been, I don't know, a minute or less than that, and it's already close to the target. Uh, it's all metal construction, it feels very nice, uh, very solid. Um, the previous generation was made out of ABS. It also felt nice and solid, but I really do prefer the feel of uh, metal. And uh, so here we go, we're almost at target. Okay, there we go. Now, see, it regulates to keep it right at 210. So it's pretty sensitive, actually. It's got a nice feedback mechanism. So I haven't done much doodling with it, but I'll just do a quick uh, demonstration of, of it working. The other nice thing about it, it has uh, six different speeds. A lot of other 3D printing pens, they only have two speeds, low or slow and fast. I, I like having the six or more than two speeds, really, because uh, if you're doing detailed work, it's nice to have slow speed option. So here it is. If I double click, let me see, let me get it in here. Oh, actually here, I think I have to hit this to confirm. Okay, there we go. Let me speed it up actually. So there's no filament already. I didn't load any already, so it's going to go into it and it's gotta go all the way past here. So it takes a minute to get to the tip the first time you use it. Uh, the other nice thing about this pen, oh, so I didn't have it loaded all the way. There it is, now it's feeding. It wasn't feeding up until now. Uh, the other nice thing about this is uh, it works with standard 1.75 millimeter filament, which is widely available. Some of the other 3D printing pens I was looking at, like the, oh, here we go, it's coming out there. The 3 Doodler in particular only lets you use 3 millimeter filament, which it's okay, but it's there's not as much variety available and it's um, more costly. There's not as much colors or uh, materials available. So I really like that you can pretty much use any you know, any good quality uh, 1.75 millimeter filament. I've used used the ones that came with it, Hatchbox, some PLA, some Flex PLA, TPU. ABS is my favorite, though. It, it really works well with uh, this pen. So 
I think they all work fine. I just, it's a personal preference, ABS, um, for, for three-dimensional drawing. So uh, here I can show you a little bit about it in action. I haven't used this very much, so I'm still trying to get familiar with the controls. So here it is. It's drawing a little faster than what I've normally used, but anyway, just for demonstration purposes. You can see it comes out very fast, actually, at the highest speed. And a quick old cube, the, the standard 3D printing pen demo. Oh, I don't let that stand long enough. Well, anyway, you get the point. It, it goes really fast there. And if you were to slow it down, for example, here's speed one. You can see it goes very slow. But you know what? You know, it's not a, a speed I would use in day-to-day -day use, but if you're doing some really crazy detailed work, it's it's good. And that's this nozzle, by the way, it's 0.6 millimeters, I believe, so it's pretty good for detailed work. So let's say if I speed up to 0.3, to that's a little bit more what I would be using in day-to-day. -day. So you can see it's a little more, oh, the surface I'm using isn't it's very sticky. I think I need to use a some masking tape. Anyway, that's just the filament I'm using. I, the Hatchbox filament is better. This is the one I, uh, some generic one I got. But uh, okay, and if you double click, it does the auto feed. If you just single click, it'll. Oh, hold on. Mm, stop. Okay, let me, let me try this. Sorry, a little technical difficulty. Okay, let's get back up to ABS. For some reason, I went to PLA temperature. Um, anyway, that's a quick demo. Oh, the other thing, just sound-wise, it's it's actually very uh, it's quiet. So let me show you my sound meter here. Here it is, like just a few inches away. So that's pretty quiet, 50 decibels, that's less than, uh, you know, soft talking, as you can tell, my voice is about 60, speaking softly, this thing, you know, about 40, 48, 50 is right up to it, if you're at ear distance, like right here, yeah, 40, 45 decibels, so that's pretty nice, it's not very loud, it's pretty quiet. Uh, compared to some of the other 3D printing pens I used. Um, oh, and then the size, just to show you, I'm going to unplug this. You know, it's it's pretty small, 14 millimeters diameter. Now compare that to the uh, Lix pen, 15. So it's only one millimeter difference, but it, it makes it, it actually does feel different. So, so far I like it. I'm just getting used to using it and the controls is, is a little bit different from the uh, RP800. This one has a uh, stepless speed control, which I like, um, but it is it is bigger, uh, and so it's hard to get to certain hard to reach areas um, for detailed work that you can get to with this, I think a little bit better. The other thing, the cap is very nice. Uh, actually, this is the only 3D printing pen I'm aware of that has a cap built in like this. So this is handy when you shut it off. You can quickly slip on the cap and throw it in your bag without worrying about you know burning anything. And you probably want to wait a little bit, I guess, just as a precaution. But um, so anyway, this is my uh, latest three D printing pen acquisition that I got, and uh, I'm quite happy with it. It also has a replaceable nozzle. This is handy, I think, just in case there's any serious clogs. I've not had any jams or anything with it yet in my limited testing, but. You just remove the screw and you can get a replacement uh, nozzle just like you can with, with this one here. Uh, Licks, I don't, I mean, they don't sell the replaceable nozzles. I think if you, if it jams, you have to send it back to the company in Belgium. Um, so yeah, it's, it's a great pen, the world's smallest 3D printing pen. Um, that's about it. Uh, here's some quick... Oh, and the other good thing I like about it, you can hook it up to a, a power supply. So this is pretty nice. Um, you don't have to be sitting by uh, an outlet. You can just you know, plug it in here. 
here's the other end of it. Uh, well, that's obviously where the filament goes, and then you can put in a, a power jack there that it comes with. Uh, here's a couple things. I didn't make with this one. I made it with my uh, RP800A, but it, it's really cool. I'm just getting into this 3D printing, and uh, so I made some geometric doodles, so to speak. But, I don't know. I thought it came out all right. You can do a lot of detailed work with it. So these, um, this is ABS, and this is the one I made for my for my kids. Well, bouncy ball that's um, compressible. So anyway, uh, hope you enjoyed that video. Thanks for watching.